When police departments want to investigate someone, they want to figure out as much information as possible about them, including information like their location. And so, obviously, they would use phones, because people carry them around everywhere. Now, in order to get the GPS information, their location, police officers need a warrant. They can't just waltz in and track your movements. They would need a judge's approval. Until now, a secretive data broker called Fog Data Science has been silently collecting billions of location data points and is selling them to government departments across the US. It's basically a search engine for people's locations, and they can search for locations from 250 million different devices. But how did this little known company get their hands on such a huge treasure trove of data? Are you in their database? Fog Data Science doesn't collect information on their own. They aren't installing viruses onto people's phones to track them. In fact, they're just buying information from other data brokers that get it from apps that users willingly download. Many third-party apps track your location without you knowing it. That location data is scooped up by data brokers, and one of them is Ventel. It's a hidden company that quietly rakes in 15 billion location data points per day and sells it to agencies like the Department of Homeland Security and other data brokers such as Fog Data Science. These data points don't carry your real name, so why are they so dangerous? Well, each data point contains latitude and longitude, a timestamp, and the key thing, your advertising ID. But what is that? Your advertising ID is a sequence of letters and numbers that are unique to your phone. This ID isn't linked to your real name, but let's say you use your phone in your house and the location is recorded. Well, now you have a unique advertising ID being used at your house and your house is tied to your real name. So someone can easily then figure out who's behind the advertising ID and can thus find your location. Fog doesn't even directly buy from apps. They just buy it from another data broker. So how does Fog make money if they're just buying secondhand data? Well, this is where their tool Fog Reveal comes in. It's basically a search engine for your location. There's two types of searches you can do. The first is an area search. If the police use this, they can search for all phone signals that were emitted at a certain place and time. The other is a device search, where law enforcement can track a particular device using its advertising ID. And this tool comes at a pretty small cost, only $7,500 to use. And for just this price, police can monitor any phone that is in the FOG database. And with 250 million different devices, there's a chance that your phone could be in that database too. There's no way this is legal, you're probably thinking. But let me remind you that all of this data that they're collecting is technically not linked to your real identity. But police can easily find patterns in where certain devices go, and that's what makes them able to track real people. In their product presentation, Fog Data Science outlined four simple steps that police officers can follow to find suspects. First, enter the address, as well as the date and time of the crime, and then click search. The search results will then show all the signals from different devices that were present in that location at that time. Then you find the smart devices that you're interested in, and then look at their movements for the past 180 days. Then finally, police can find other locations of interest that might give them a clue to who the person is. And FOG works. There definitely are cases where FOG has been used to help out a case. When Sydney Sutherland disappeared while jogging in Arkansas, leaving just her phone in a ditch, the police turned to FOG reveal and it worked. They were able to use the location points to arrest a farmer that was later convicted of her murder. So yeah, fog reveal works, but the question you have to ask is whether the benefits that this tool can bring in tracking down criminals outweigh the harm it could bring in tracking normal everyday citizens. Let's look at China for a second. China can pretty much be considered a police state. It has over half of the world's CCTV cameras, millions of which have facial recognition capabilities. And in cities in the province of Xinjiang, the government doesn't even passively collect data. They force citizens to download spyware onto their phones. 
Now, all of these measures are in the name of security, and of course, with that level of control and surveillance, their crime rate is a lot lower than the US. But the Chinese government isn't just using their high-tech tools to fight crime. They use their tools to intimidate and silence any opposition to their ruling regime. But you may be thinking that, okay, well, the US will never end up like that. Plus, I'm a good person, I'm not a criminal. Why should I even care? Well, if the US government ever gets to the surveillance height of China, it will already be too late to do anything. The time to care is before they have all the power and control. So is fog reveal worth it? Do we trust the people that use it for good? If you like this video, you might like the video that's on your screen right now, but be careful because it's going to be gone really soon in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, goodbye.